glad to meet you. You're welcome. Well, he was. I could go on for hours about all the rebellions he participated in. He's a professional insurgent. He's a very brave, honest, and determined man. A born leader, very dangerous and not to be underestimated. He was a galley slave, a pirate, and a commander of a large peasant army. Now he's the consul of a self-proclaimed republic. That wasn't us. That was the decision of His Majesty. Don Condor was telling the truth when he said that we don't advocate extreme measures. But the mutiny arranged by Arata could flow over the entire country. So he was to be rendered harmless and sent to a place where he would no longer be a significant threat. Yes, but you wouldn't have succeeded. You presented to Arata as an assassin from the Empire while other agents were preparing his abduction. True, your life was in danger, but you would have been in even more danger if everybody knew what was going on. Our agents, for example, died very gruesomely, and they weren't even the members of the Order. Come to think of it, what kind of creep could have done that? Yes, we know. By that time, Arata had already made contact with us and expressed his desire to collaborate with the Imperial authorities. He's really changed from a ringleader of slaves to a benevolent ruler. I never thought it possible. That's true. Now, if I've answered all your questions, I have to bid you farewell. His Grace Herzog of Irukan is suffering from Lubago again. Excuse me, sir, but I need to go to Irukan post haste. Also, I'd like to talk to the noble Dons. We'll chat again soon. You gave us a lot of trouble, young man. Ups and downs? You were given specific orders, weren't you? You were to deal only with Arata and to forget about Ramata. That won't be necessary. You've actually managed to make yourself a reputation as a decent agent, although I'm still wondering how you did it. So you're staying here and continuing your job. You'll be under the command of our agent. He doesn't just work with intelligence, if you catch my drift. It's now your order, too. The agent's name is Rudy. Right now he's on his way from Soan, but he'll be staying at the smuggler's camp north of Arkanar's walls. This area is also called the Upper Bay. He'll be expecting you. All orders, contacts, money, and whatever other questions you may have will go through him. He'll give you orders and plan your work. That's not your business. Your curiosity has gotten you in trouble once, young man. And you know what happened. I've already told you all you need to know. It would be good if you could manage to find Rudy in a week. In fact, consider it an order. If you paid attention, you'd know it's already been given to you. Now go and do your duty.
We need to talk. I have a couple of questions to ask. It's about one person. I remember you mentioning him once. No, I didn't mean him. I don't know him, at least in person. I don't see anything special about him, however. Did you have any dealings with him? So that's why you were out of town. But why? I've heard of this aristocrat, although I don't know him in person. People say he's a patron of art and science, which seems strange on its own. He has a strong army, so the greys and the monks don't risk invading his lands. Why did he want to kill you? Oh, this is getting interesting. A letter? Give it to me. Interesting indeed. I'll try to gather some information about this man. As for now, try to avoid him and his men. The Prophet. I remember you saying that he was even more dangerous than Arata. Do you know anything specific about him? What kind of rumor? Yes, yes, you said that when we first talked. Enlightenment? Hmm. Butchering innocent peasants is considered enlightenment now? I wasn't notified. Is that all? I see. That's a pity. I'm very interested in this person. Well, he actually interests all of us. At least we started to show interest in him after several particular events. If you could gather any information